Hey everybody. Well, as you can see, I was at the Space Coast Stadium in Vieira, Florida, and managed to film some really, really nice stuff to make this video. Just about finished editing all the footage, and I thought I'd take a little break, do what I do, have a cigar, collect my thoughts, and hopefully I'll get this thing finished and uploaded tonight. Fortunately, I'm in Florida, and even though it's dark out, it's still about 68 degrees, so uh, there is that. It really was a pleasant surprise to have gotten permission to fly at the Space Coast Stadium because it's such a beautiful place. From the air, the geometry of the place is gorgeous, the shapes and the colors. I was really hoping I could do it justice, and uh, I think I did. I also thought it'd be interesting to let you in on a little of the history of this stadium, um, even though since 2016 it hasn't had a major league affiliation. But I hope you enjoy this video as much as I enjoyed filming it. The uh, shots on the second day I was at the stadium the, where I pulled away from myself and the, most of the stadium shots from the inside themselves were done with the Mavic 2 Pro. The following morning it was earlier and sunnier and I went out there with the zoom and shot uh, the statue and uh, most of the rest of the grounds. Anyway. Enjoy the rest of this uh, video. Okay, let's uh, see what this looks like. It's a shame that it's a little overcast today, but uh, here's a gate that looks like it's open, so we'll just go up here. Wow, we go right in. And uh, let's let's see what we got here. Well, I don't even know if, if I needed permission, but I guess it's good to have. Uh, I just walked right in. Doesn't seem to be anybody around. What a gorgeous stadium, though. This, uh, this stadium was built as a uh, major league uh, spring training site. And I'll have to go look up what team that was for because they moved out of here a few years ago. And not being a baseball fan, I don't keep up with that kind of stuff. But... Uh, it certainly is a, uh, a first-class stadium. Weather's a little overcast today, and I may, uh, and it's a little windy today in here. I may not fly today, but uh, I think we're supposed to have a prettier day tomorrow. I may just come back and fly tomorrow. But uh, this place is pretty neat. Pretty neat. Would be a nice place to have an event, and I'm gonna see if we can't arrange that. So. Uh, Stay tuned. Got to set up to fly here in the stadium. And uh, it's going to be interesting. Hope they throw it out. Today the sun's coming in and out, and uh, we will hopefully get some good shots in between with the sun. Let me check, I got a wire right overhead here, so I think I'm going to move down out from underneath this wire. Move down to here because no sense having something straight overhead. All right, and we got the drone. And we'll come back and get the rest of the stuff. The sun seems to be peeking in and out of the clouds here, so we'll see. Get the carrier in place here. 
And the camera. There we go. It was right about here that I started having compass errors and uh, I did the compass calibration, but it failed. And I figured it must have been the, um, so all the steel railings and the uh, steel and the concrete and the metal seats, uh, frames. So uh, I tried to move over to another place and still had a problem and finally got up in the air. The Space Coast Stadium was completed before the 1994 Major League Baseball season as part of a plan to bring the Florida Marlins to Vieira for spring training. Ground was broken for the new stadium in what had been a pasture on April 29, 1993, and construction cost $6.2 million. Opening ceremonies took place on March 2, 1994, the same day as the launch of the Space Shuttle Columbia at the nearby Kennedy Space Center at Cape Canaveral, followed immediately by the Marlins' first spring training game at the ballpark, in which they defeated the Kansas City Royals 9-6 before a crowd of 7,500 people. The Florida Marlins held spring training at the Space Coast Stadium through the 2002 season. In 2002, as part of an agreement in which Jeffrey Loria sold the Montreal Expos to Major League Baseball and purchased the Marlins, the Marlins swapped training sites with the Expo, who had been training in Jupiter. The Expos held two seasons of training at Space Coast Stadium in 2003 and 2004. The Expos franchise then moved from Montreal to Washington, D.C. to become the Washington Nationals. The Nationals conducted spring training at Space Coast Stadium from their inaugural season in 2005 through 2016. They played from 7 to 15 games per season in the stadium. The Washington Nationals held spring training at Space Coast Stadium for the last time in 2016. The team's last game at the stadium was a 7-2 victory over the Atlanta Braves on March 27, 2016. George Bush in uh, 1994 held one of his final uh, campaign rallies here at this particular stadium and uh, managed to find some pictures of that. I hope you've enjoyed this as, as much as I enjoyed making it. And uh, until the next time, subscribe to my channel if you like what I do. Take the rest of the day off and go play with your drone. Bye-bye.